Some time back, I made this The Mummy Dust Storm Head VFX inspired by the Mummy movie scene. And I recreated it inside of Cinema 4D and uh, I used Table and Safety plugin. And then I composted it in After Effects. So I made this the second time. The first time I did it, it wasn't that cool, but it was like more like a test. The second time I did it, it was better than before, and um, I liked it. So I'm going to show you how I did it in a, quite a few steps, not a detailed tutorial, but hope you learned something. So the first thing that I did was I tracked my camera inside of After Effects, and um, I created a few points from the ground, from the tracked points, and I, uh, I saved a still frame and exported that inside of Cinema 4D and i opened up cinema 4d and i imported that still image put it in a material and put it on a background then i turned on my grid and roughly aligned it by eye i opened up table and fd plugin i scaled up the grid in the x y and z and as i went on i adjusted the size of the grid and the settings it was a trial and error work i started by squishing the sphere and placing it below the container I went to the solver and I bumped up the frame substeps to 2 I went in the wind and I gave it a value in the X of 0 and in the Z a value of 1 and I gave it the wind speed of 10 so in the vorticity I gave it 5 the turbulence I gave it a value of 12 the smallest size I gave it 0.8 and the largest size I gave it 5 the temperature I gave it a value of 0 in the cooling since I didn't want the dust to dissipate and then in the buoyancy I gave it a value of 15 I went down to the fuel, activated it and I gave it the expansion of 2 and the temperature division of 1.01 I went to the rendering tab and changed the map, the smoke mapping to temperature and the fire shading I turned it off since we don't want any fire I changed the step size and the step shadow step size to 90 and the interpolation to sharp then I started going back to the timing and changed the time scale to 70 since I wanted it to be a little bit slower and then I changed the the timeline frame to something like 250 to make it last a little bit longer I then created a table and safety emitter tag on the sphere and I gave it a noise texture in the texture and I just scaled it up and gave it some contrast and a different random seed and then I went to the force and gave it a direction of force of negative 50 in the y and in the z i gave it a value of negative 100 since it was going in the negative direction and the temperature i gave it a value of one i went to the voxel size and gave it four the value of four since it's just the purpose of testing and when i ran the simulation it kind of looked like that so i just started playing with the expansion the settings to make it move to my liking and have it look the way i want it to look since it's supposed to be rolling dust and it's supposed to interact with the ground and roll as it moves I changed the shader to smoke shader in the viewport preview and I gave the smoke color somewhat the colors of the of the scene from the mountains uh, somewhat a little bit dusty and gave it a, a little bit of some dark colors and just mix those in between each other with a gradient that goes from brown to dark color and that will just give us some some kind of details in this in the dust and then went ahead and just I bought the smoke to sort of align it to where the top of the mountains is I then placed a protection tag on my camera so that I don't move it by accident next thing is I just started playing with the settings more and more until I liked until I liked what I was having Next thing is I duplicated the spheres to make them three and I placed them in different positions and then when I ran a simulation it kind of gave me a different look. I then placed a point light on the upper right corner mimicking the lighting in my background which, which, will, which happened to come from the right top corner having the shadows being cast almost to the left. I then placed a second light on the left side 
and give it sort of a blue bluish tint and reduce the intensity so that it can just get rid of those harsh shadows i then did a rough render which wasn't like a high render just something like a preview to make me see how it's moving and how it will look in the after effects scene i then brought in my render and interpreted the frame to 24 frames since that was the original frame for the video and i started scanning it up and just trying to get the idea of how it will look and i may and i turned it into 3d so that it can just be tracked in the scene that i tracked earlier and it wasn't actually looking bad i changed the time scale to something like 170 so that it can just move a little bit slower and i started placing a curves on top of that and just start color correcting the the dust to make sure that it blends in the scene the shadows and the highlights i did a slightly higher vision rain uh, I, I did a slightly higher vision simulation to just give it more details and i rendered that out and put it back in instead of after effects and i also did another secondary simulation on top of that i squished it down and i created a mask on top of that i wanted to create like the bottom dust that kind of rises up as the dust hits the ground i wanted to have like secondary dust that sort of rises up and i gave that a curves and made it just blending the blend in a little bit better i then masked out the harsh bottom of the dust layer and I feathered it out a little bit so that it can also blend in the ground a little bit better than it being harsh and that mixed with the secondary dust simulation that's supposed to be like the bottom dust simulation it kind of looks like it's kicking up the dust as it moves forward towards the camera I then now moved to the next level which was creating the animation of the head I went to Cinema 4D Content Browser and I created I grabbed in the male clothed character and I deleted everything except for the head and I started manipulating the head, the mouth and the eyebrows to just make it animate and open its mouth and its head. I then baked that head animation as Alambic and I created a table and safety container and I placed that head model inside of the table and safety container and I gave it uh, uh, some table and safety settings. The simulation didn't go well. I didn't want to spend so much time on it but you can actually do it and it looks very good. I did this previously on my on, on my evil tornado where i have like sort of a head appear from smoke and I, I i actually use the same settings that i was about to use except this takes much longer time to simulate and a lot and lot of tweakings like i did in the secondary evil tornado head appearing in the smoke instead what i ended up doing was i created a material with a brownish dust texture I gave it some sort of a displacement in the displacement map so that it can just displace the whole model and make it look like it's sort of you know belongs to the dust it took a little bit of some compositing to blend it in in the dust and but in the end it worked so i brought it inside of after effects and i sort of applied some effects the, like levels some simple choker and edge blur to it and i played with the opacity to have it emerge sort of fading the dust as it's about to open its mouth and i just started playing with the levels to balance it up the shadows and the highlights and especially the edges were, were much important it, it has to appear like seamless and it, you don't have to see where it's starting and where it's ending it has to sort of blend in the dust so i keyframe the opacity of it to fade in over time so what i did was i keyframed the scale and position to sort of have it scale up over time as the opacity fades in i wanted it to scale up as well so that it looks like it's growing towards the camera next thing is i wanted to separate the trees from the background i deleted the main footage layer and i put it on top of everything then i then created a mask on the left side of the trees and i applied the extract effect and extracted everything that's supposed to be the background and left only the trees i repeated the same thing by duplicating the footage and isolating the trees on the right and creating a mask for it and applying an extract effect and that way i was only left with the with the left and the right trees that are supposed to be in the foreground and then by doing that they just happened to be the layers in the foreground and i applied um, an edge blur and played with the blending mode and the blend with original feature and that just helped me have the dust be behind it and have the trees be in the foreground so i created two solids one in the foreground which is supposed to be the ground and then one i made it be in the way um, i made it be in the far background 
which is supposed to be the place where the dust is coming from and i just wanted to use that as a reference inside of cinema 4d to know where the plane is supposed to come from as i animate it so that it can have the right scale and the right distance so inside of cinema 4d i just started animating the plane and the plane model to start from where the red solid is and then to end up where the green solid is which is the which is the ground i then keyframed the opacity of the plane to fade in as it comes and i created a mask on top of it and did a very heavy feathering which just feathered as it's coming from the mouth of the dust model it feathered up and it looked like it's actually fading in because of the harsh mask that i created with the high feathering and what i did was next is i created a sky object inside of cinema 4d and the hdri image it kind of was similar with the background since the sun was coming from the right top and it wasn't exactly but it worked for what i was going for and in my first first attempt i also tried to create the leaves like blowing and flying but it didn't end up looking good in the final so i just didn't add that layer i wanted it to look more windy and more cliff cliffside so i tried to put in the leaves flying and um you know just blowing up in the wind like that it it would have looked way cooler but i just removed that in the end and i just you know didn't consider it the last thing that i did was i just started playing with the color correction i added the screen bars and i started to add some camera shake on top of that just give it the feel of a moving force especially when the plane flies towards the camera i i added a sudden camera shake to sort of make it feel more heavy and more powerful i added roost man motion blur on top of everything and it just gave it the final vfx feel and there you have it that's how i um i did that if you don't understand anything about how table and safety works um just leave a comment and i'll make a full detailed tutorial showing you how you can understand the table and safety and of course if you want me to show you how i did the smoke evil tornado simulation i can also show you i just wanted to experiment with without having to simulate anything and see how it would look like but if you want a detailed tutorial on how to make this kind of simulation just let me know in the comment section below and i'll be glad to make you a tutorial about that especially about understanding table and safety and stuff like that so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you liked it leave a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time